So this is an overview of the Drake SO2 emission control systems. Over here we have the common facility, which is the SPS, the sorbent processing system, which takes sorbent from the unit seven capture system and the unit six capture system. So the flue gas comes out of the boiler, it goes into the bag house. The bag house is where particulate matter is removed, where flue gas will go through the absorber, then through the ID fan and then up the chimney. So we basically insert between the bag house and the chimney the unit seven capture system. This is the unit seven absorber out of the Drake power plant. We're running a test right now, recirculating water through the absorber, where the flue gas comes down through the absorber, through the jet boxes, where SO2 reacts with sodium solution. That sodium solution, we can refer to it as sorbent. It's captured here, collected, and then it's transferred over to the sorbent processing system. Okay, so now we're in the SBS building. This building houses four large tanks that facilitate the chemical processing that we do with the sorbent. Fishing teams should substantially complete on testing all the subsystems. Then we'll begin system level testing. That'll take about four to six weeks. In about January, end of January, early February, the flue gas, the hot testing of the system will begin on Unit 7. So over here, we're building Unit 6. You can see it's a real tight area. It's closed on pretty much all four sides by other buildings. Uh, hence the need for the, the large crane to lift the bigger pieces in over the top of existing structures. Very, very tight construction area. Um, you'll see that some of our support beams of steel are literally inches away from existing structure. There this week they set the last big pieces of ductwork and got the large components in place that are necessary before the spring outage in 2016 where Unit 6 is the Yes.